Hi, welcome back to Colt Car See, so today we're going to look at this. This is the Diatone GTB329, and this is the 3 inch 2S version. So they do various different ones of these that have different size mowers. These have got the 1103 6500 kv motors you can get them in there's loads of different i think there's six different ones it's a bit crazy actually what you get so this comes with the mamba stack the mamba 411 nano it's got 13 amp escs d shot 600 and it has a unified pro 32 btx which is nice the the camera's a run cam nano and so let me tell you straight out of the box, this thing, straight out of the box, nothing adjusted, is one of the smoothest flying, I call these micros, I don't think this is a, I don't know if this is a, a toothpick or something, it's for micros, this is the smoothest one I've ever flown. This thing flies like it could be a, I don't know, like it definitely flies like it could be a 5 inch, it certainly flies like a, like a normal 3 inch that you're flying with a bit of weight about it. This thing's absolutely amazingly tuned, straight out of the box. You can't really go wrong with this. It comes a bind and fly only. I've got a fly sky receiver in here because I was going to bind it originally to my Nirvana, but uh, I'm not using the Nirvana anymore because I'm absolutely sick of the fact that you can't do upgrades on it. So the frame is a very, very, it's, it's a lot of strength in this frame. As you can see, there's no movement hardly at all in the frame. There's a little bit there, but it's a very tough frame. It's also extremely quiet. Now, I don't know if that's the prop combination or the motors, but it, it, the combination that it's of both is making this thing ridiculously nice to fly, and it's so quiet. It's probably, it's definitely, it shocked me when I took off with it. You can fly it in the house and it isn't even that loud. And you can fly it in the house because it's so controllable. It's big to get into gaps, but if you've got a bit of space, you can easily fly this indoors. The canopy it comes with the TPU mounted a TPU canopy and it gives you space obviously I've just put a couple of plastic tubes pushed into there and then heat shrunk on the top of them to get my antennas out of the way and then you've got your BTX antenna coming out the back here range wise I've had no issue with this I've had no massive breakup it shouldn't do it's got the unified BTX in there so it's decent the cameras, not, I don't mind these cameras at all. I think they're really nice cameras. Uh, this is a 2.1 lens on this. And it's really nice to fly. It's really nice to fly, it's really smooth to fly. And because the camera's decent and it's up out of the way, you've obviously got no props in shots. You've just got the image straight from the camera. So I'm flying this on a GNB 450 high volt. And I get probably like two and a half minutes half flight time out of it if you're giving it some. If you like it slow, you can get out of that. And you can see it's got the stack is tiny, so it's a 16 mil stack. And I think you can pick these things up for. Well, I'm not sure how much. I can't remember. I did look. I think they're about 55 quid for the stack, which is to me is worth it because it's a decent little stack if you wanted to build your own uh, nano. So let's just weigh it. Let's see how much it weighs. Let me just get the scales. Okay, we've got the scales. So let's put it on the scales and that's your full up weight. So this includes your battery and you've got 84.2 and its dry weight is... Sorry about that. 55.5. So it, as you can tell, it's really light. It comes with this little... It comes with a nice little strap. I think you do... I can't remember you get. You get some spare props with this and that's about it. Really, you don't get much in the box at all. And then the battery is quite a nice fit under here. Now, according to the specs, these motors would take 3S and so would this flight controller. I've not tried it and I probably will at some point. Okay, so let me just bind it up to the jumper T16. Connect it up so it's already bound. There you go, so everyone, forget the warnings, this is because it's a fly sky, some of these cheap fly sky receivers, this only isn't the best fly sky receiver in the world, and you get this unless you turn warnings off, so, can, I don't know if you can hear how quiet it is on takeover, let me just, let me just see if I can, you can get some kind of impression of how quiet this thing is. Very quiet. 
So I've got this set up as you normally would. So I've got my modes on here and I've just got, shut up, I've just got my modes on here and obviously my on and off on here. Uh, the settings straight out of the box work absolutely fine. I wouldn't bother doing anything to it to be honest. I just leave it exactly as it is unless you've got an issue but I can't spot anything wrong with it. It flies perfectly well to me. Smooth, quick. It's not stupidly quick but it is nippy. It's very smooth and it, as I say it's definitely the best one of these I've flown. I've got some other ones to compare it to that you haven't seen on my channel yet but they're coming up. So this is the iFlight, I think this is a 120, and this is, uh, I'm flying this on 3S at the minute, but it is a 4S version, and I think it's better than that. Again, I haven't reviewed these yet. So this is the one, this is the Emax Freestyle. Uh, again, you won't see this yet, I haven't had time to do the videos or anything, mainly because the weather's been that bad and I've been able to get out to fly. And I think this kills this. And, uh, this is all right, don't get me wrong, but I don't think this is anywhere near as good as that. But again, you'll see that in the review. So, I have got stuff to compare it to, obviously, and I'm comparing it directly to those. And like I say, this flies more like your standard 3-inch quad rather than a toothpick micro. So, I have got some video footage coming up, but it's only footage of me filming outside the house. The weather's been horrendous, I've just got a little gap. But you can get some kind of general idea of what it looks like, and you can see what the... FPV footage looks like. Again, I apologise. I'm recording on the FTX Vipers. I love the goggles. I think the D, uh, DVR is appalling. So I'm, I'm looking at the minute of building my own standalone DVR unit just for using this purpose. And I've got more of that coming up shortly, but hopefully it'll be better than that. So thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.
thanks for watching my channel if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell there's plenty more good stuff coming up